is a good way to uh, get familiar with the monster. I just dropped off my Tacoma. I installed the um, leveling kit on to the garage to get it aligned. And I figure I will ride my unicycle back to the house. Just had a brain fart there and uh, crossed uh, Collar Boulevard when I shouldn't and uh, narrowly avoided a car that was turning left. Totally my bad. So I have a feeling this is the kind of ride that the monster is going to excel at. You know, just big, wide, open areas of pavement to um, cover as quickly as possible. So the place that I dropped the Tacoma off at, um, I've had him do some work for me in the past on several vehicles, actually. And, um, yeah, I'm kind of lukewarm about them. Yeah, I don't think they're all that great, but... Unfortunately, since I've moved to Southwest Florida, I've I've gone through I bet at least a half a dozen different shops, and they all managed to piss me off in one way or the other, either through incompetency or overcharging or just bullshit, bad communication. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, this shop can't screw up an alignment, but uh, you never know. Before I dropped the truck off, I, I was going through the drive-through ATM. And I sat behind a woman, an old Hispanic woman, that evidently doesn't know how to operate in an ATM. But she decided that she would drive, to use the drive-thru instead. And she literally sat there for five minutes looking at the thing. Not interacting with it, just looking at it. And eventually I lost my patience and I rolled down my window and said, Hey, come on, let's go. And, and tapped my horn and she's like, it's not working. I'm like, okay, well, pull ahead. If you stare at it, it's not going to work. So um, I eventually just backed out and, and uh, parked and went to the uh, normal walk-up ATM. And uh, she she finally gave up uh, probably about 30 seconds before I finished my transaction. So, yeah, that was nice. Like I mentioned with my uh, initial ride on the Monster yesterday, there is definitely a, a difference in the power delivery. You know, even though the top end of this thing is, is way up there, um, and it's so comfortable at speed, getting to that speed and, and decelerating from that speed uh, both seems to take longer than uh, it would on my M Super. Feels very stable at speed, again. Not surprising. maneuvering the uh, monster you know doing this kind of riding you know we we're just kind of commuting or whatever that's not really a problem I'm often already feel like I'm pretty confident doing you know the normal maneuvers you'd have to do avoiding pedestrians and that kind of stuff making turns stopping all that important stuff thing about this wheel is if I would use it again to uh, like do something like commute to work I had to be very very cautious about my speed on the M Super because it was right on the edge of, of what I could do battery wise if I was going too fast um, on the monster I should be able to push it you know 20 plus um, as much as I want more or less so cut down on commutes uh, significantly passing the uh, entrance to Twin Eagles Ride's going fine. Definitely feels like I could uh, go for miles and miles and miles. I'm getting a little tired of all the seams in the sidewalks and the, um, the on and off ramps with the sidewalks. I'm very tempted just to get out in the damn bike lane, but resisting the temptation right now. Approaching Wilson Boulevard, which means I have roughly uh, something like three miles to go. Uh, much smoother. More treacherous, but, but much smoother. I wish I had straight. 
Strava running or something just so I could attract my average speed. Didn't uh, think about it. I have a pretty strong smoke smell right now. I'm about a mile from uh, our house. There's been a mulch fire going on for uh, probably almost a week now. And um, it's weird. It, it, it basically spontaneously combusts. The inside of the mulch pile gets hot enough that it'll just ignite because it has been so dry here for so long. And uh, once they, it starts to burn, it takes forever for it to go out. So uh, depending on the wind, we've been dealing with uh, smoke for uh, almost a week. I don't know if you can see in the GoPro the haze, uh, but there's a, there's a smoky haze in this area right now. I've ridden the whole, you know, roughly 10 miles without getting off the monster at all. My uh, my feet, they feel a little sore, but I think uh, they feel probably the same on the M Super. You know, 10 miles straight is a long time to be uh, on an electric unicycle. Okay, so it shows that ride was about 14k. Does that sound right? Yeah, 14k. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's actually a little less than 10. I gotta do my my math, but anyways. Um, shows where it's 70% battery. The uh, wheel temperature is 50.9 degrees Celsius. The fan is running. And here we are. So, that was good. It was a good test of the monster, and it definitely uh, is going to be very comfortable for doing that kind of riding. You know, we're trying to get from point A to point B um, quickly as possible um, with the wheel feeling very stable along the way. So. That's it. Till next time, Duckman out.